It's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Well, I'm starting to get ready for Halloween because I love Halloween, and Rich loves Halloween. We only get 10 to 12 trick-or-treaters every year, but we like to make the event special for them. And this year, I saw something on a channel called Live Love Scrap that I thought was ingenious, and I hope you'll stay tuned and watch. So here's what I found. It's a chip bag. Now she made her chip bag with uh, an acetate piece in the front so you could see inside of it, but I thought it would be more fun to decorate it. And she ran hers through a crimper so that uh, it looked like a chip bag. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Can you see it at that angle? Okay, can you see this angle? I wanted to see if I could make it look like crimping. This is crimping. For those of you who don't have a crimper, and so I just use my score tool, and honestly, I don't think it looks bad. It doesn't look as crimped as this end, but then again, I didn't squeeze that as hard as you probably should have, so my crimping isn't perfect. But, with that being said, I don't think you need a crimper, so you, you be the one to judge. This end is not crimped. This end is crimped, but again, with my crimping skills, not the easiest. Hold on, we'll crimp it one more time and see if we can make it just a little bit crimpier. Yes, that's a word. Maybe it's not, just, you know, maybe it isn't. Okay, so how it works if you have one of these, it's an oldie but a goodie when it comes to tools. You stick it in, there's two uh, metal circles, see those, that have uh, ridges on them. So what you do is you stick that between the two pieces of metal ridge like that and then and this is the part I'm not good at you squeeze it and then you turn the little handle and then you turn it back if you want a really good see mine again I just don't have the squeezeability <laughs> making a different word up to make it work so um, that's how I did it but I'll show you how to make these they're very simple and I hope that you'll want to give it a try so all you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of paper. Now it works better if you go to like Joann's and get the cheap paper that's really lightweight, but I'm using a paper pad from Hobby Lobby that I got last year. And I don't know if they change their patterns every year, but this is what it looks like. It was called Trick or Treat, and I got it after Halloween because they couldn't sell it, so I got a I got it for like 70 or 80 percent off, which was a bargain. And uh, you know I'll have this for a hundred trick or treats, so. That's all I'm saying. It goes a long way. You're going to take a, a piece that's eight and a half by eleven inches, and you're going to score it at ten and a half inches on the eleven inch side. So you're going to stick it in your paper. You're going to score this at ten and a half inches. That's your only scoring you're going to do for now. We're going to score it later when we do the um, crimping because I want to show you how I'm going to do that. Because I think I actually thought it looked better with the system I use, but maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. Then you're going to get your tear tape and that end that you put the half inch score mark on, you're going to put a line of tear tape right up to the edge. And I'm using quarter inch tear tape, so I'm going to put another line of it in there. It's another little thing I, kn I figured out. You want to go right up to your paper edge um, for the tear tape because this will come back up. It, it won't stay down completely. Then you're going to take and flip it over and you're going to put one line at the very bottom, making sure you're as close to the bottom edge as possible, and turn it around and do one at line at the top, which is now the bottom. Again, as close to the edge as you can make it. We're not going to do anything more with this right now. The thing I want you to remember is that this piece that has your tear tape on it, that is your edge, for lack of a better word. It's going to be, in my case, I made it the top edge of my bag. And that's important if you're going to do what I'm doing, and that is I wanted to decorate mine and make them a lot more fun to look at. So on this one, I made my decorations go um, in this direction. And on this one, I think I'm going to go in this direction. I used a bunch of different dies 
that I have had and I thought it would be fun to just cut them and try a bunch. I have a black spider that I thought would go nicely in the center of this. And then if I wanted to, I could do trick or treat at the top. So I thought I had trick or treat up there, but I don't know where it is now. Okay, so we'll put this down more. And I think we're going to glue it like that on our bag. Now, I am gluing mine before I adhere it shut. So you can do it however you want to, but this is the way I found that worked best for me. And I used a couple different systems. I took the top of this little plastic piece and I put a bunch, not a bunch, but some glue on it like that. And then I took one of these brushes. If you watch my video on the Dollar Tree, I talked about how I like these little brushes for things in the craft room. Well, this is one of the things I like it for. I just put some glue on the back of thinner die cuts. Now this is a thicker die cut, so you can use, I'm going to just use this glue on it, but I'm going to show you how to use that brush on my uh, frame that I have here. I just wanted to make sure that this stage is adhered once you remember that this becomes a bag, so it's not going to be flat, it's going to kind of be puffy, so you're needing enough glue to really hold this in place. And I'm just, it looks like I have a lot of glue here, but it's not, um, it's not as much as it looks like it has. Let's just say that. It could be, but I don't think it is. Okay. So I'm going to put my trick or treat right there. Keep in mind, again, that this is my right edge of my bag. I might have this a little bit too far over. I hope I don't, but if I do, I do. Then we're going to glue our frame right under it. So I'm going to try and glue as much of my frame as I can with this tonic glue pen and then if that doesn't work, like if it's too thin, then I'll go to the little brush that I told you about at the Dollar Tree. Now I bought my brushes at AliExpress. I like to buy things like that there because it's very inexpensive. If you're not familiar with AliExpress, it's kind of like the eBay or Amazon of China and they have a bunch of different companies that go through AliExpress and sell their goods there. Um, some of their goods are counterfeited goods from the US which I don't recommend you buying but some things like this that's just your basic tool that you can get for the craft room I think it's a great place to go to buy things like this because they sometimes can be less expensive than the Dollar Tree, which I know is hard to believe. And since I am one of the world's biggest fans of the Dollar Tree, it's hard for me to say that. But And for those of you who are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I did want to tell you that, um, if you didn't know, I don't... Um, I am not a channel that's monetized. That means I don't make any money off my channel. And I, I am. my plan is to never change that. I just do this for the love of it and to meet new people and um, I like to tell you that because if you um, if, if you get an opinion from me you know that I'm not paid for my opinion and I'm always going to be honest because there's no money changing hands. Here is our spider. I think I'm just going to put our spider into our frame like that. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I just wanted to have a little bit of simplicity on this, but make it cute at the same time. Let's go on to our next step. And our next step is gluing this bad boy together. If you've never used tear tape, I really recommend that you rub your finger over it on all the way down. That'll make sure that when you remove your backing paper, it comes off a lot easier. Sometimes the tape comes up with it, and that's because you didn't do that. So if you have a problem where your tape comes off of the paper, you need to rub it a little harder. So then you're going to flip it over, and on this side, we're still on the same end that we just um, that we just took the backing off the tape on. We're going to take the backing off the tape on the back, but only for a little bit of the paper, like that much. You see how much I just took off? I'm going to put a little bit of wet glue on this end because I don't have enough tear tape 
just to make sure that it stays glued shut. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. This is the trickiest part of your whole day. The only reason you made that score mark is so that you can figure out exactly where to place this paper. I took the I took it off the wrong end because I'm kind of crazy sometimes. You want to make sure when you when you um, pull it into a to make it to make it into a circle basically. You want to make sure that you have this tape backing off behind it because you're going to glue it shut so you don't have the opportunity to take the backing off after you do this step. I hope that made sense. Okay. So again, here we go. You're going to line it up. I don't know if you can see the bottom. We're going to look at the bottom edge where it's closest to me. And what we're going to do is just try to line it up as closely as we can to the bottom edge making sure it's straight and then I'm going to pinch it hopefully at the top if it's okay I'm almost flat so what I'm going to do is stick my hand inside for the rest of it and push it down and hopefully hopefully it glued it shut see how nice it glued it shut right there how fabulous was that? Now I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to press a little bit to get the paper ready to bend in the position I want it to be bent in. Make sure that top edge does okay. Okay. Let's do the top first. I'm going to take the backing off of my tear tape. Then I'm going to, hopefully you can see this, I'm going to pinch it in the middle so that it's perfectly straight in the center. And then I'm going to go, <coughs> excuse me, to the right side, pinching it along the whole way. And then I'm going to go to this side, pinching it the whole way. And then I'm going to squeeze it tight to make sure it's really, really well closed. Okay? Don't close the bottom until you put your goodies inside, or guess what will happen? You will not have any goodies in there. Now, um, I bought Rich this Raisinette snack mix, so I really don't, uh, I don't really want to have him get this as a gift, but I haven't bought any of my trick-or-treat candy, because obviously it's the end of August, it'll probably be the beginning of September when you get it. He's never going to miss this. So, I'm going to put this inside, and the other thing I bought are a bunch of these, I don't know what you call them, I think these are table confetti. I bought them in different colors, but I have, and I pour some on the table so you can see them, I have orange and black spiders, and so I'm just going to pour a few in. Not a ton, just a few, because when kids open this, you don't want them to just have some candy, you want them to have something fun, you know, something that shakes open and scares their mother maybe. Don't tell her. Don't tell my neighbors. And there are, uh, in this other pack, I have red and blue ones, and they had little spider webs. So what I did was I picked a couple of the spider webs out and threw them into so that you have a little webbage, too. That's a word. Maybe it's not. Webbage? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to pull the top off of... Okay. This I found to be the trickiest part of the whole adventure. 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 I don't know. Um, if it looks like I'm molting, that's glue. I That wet glue does it because I play with it too much. Okay, I'm going to pinch that center piece so that they line up. And then I'm going to continue the pinch all the way across. Ooh, it's a little bit uneven on this side, I think. Now, for the tricky part, that's well, not really tricky at all. It's really the easy part. Now, if I had used my crimper, this would have been hard. But, because I'm not using it, it's not going to be hard. It's going to be an easy process. So, let's crimp. 
remember, we are not actually crimping. We're just going to make it look like we crimp. So I really want you to make sure that this is flat across. And then you put it in your paper score tool. And you're just going to start scoring it. You're going to score in your first mark. Get up there to the edge in your second mark. Try not to miss miss one. Ooh, this is why you have to be sure that you have it really in there. You have to make sure that you um, have it pressed down. It feels like I might have a, one of those confetti things down there. You have to make sure there's nothing stopping you from um, scoring. So if you put something in like I did, you want to make sure that it's out of that out of this area. So we're going to put this back in to the scoring tool. If you think anybody will figure out that, oh, I got one of those toys right there. That's not making me happy. I'm going to go from this end. Why? Why do I have those toys everywhere? Well, it's close enough. Remember, Rich is getting this one anyway. I could I could use my um, crimper on this one if I wanted to. So we're going to get our tool. We're opening it up. I'm going to shove that in. Then we're going to make sure it's even. If you can get it even, that is really helpful. And then squeeze it as hard as you can. I mean really hard. See if you can see any difference. Mm, no. Okay, I'm gonna try this end. Okay. I'm not the world's greatest crimper, obviously. But there is the bag. It has score marks, it's got crimp marks, it's got it all. There's our trick or treat and our happy Halloween. So here they are. I hope that if you have maybe some grandkids that you'd like to do this for or uh, a small group that you give this a try. I obviously only have 10 or 12 trick or treaters so it won't be a big problem for me to make that many because look how long it took to make these two. I think they're a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed them, that you give them a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.